Well, we believe that there's a big synergy to bring between the aid policy and the trade policy. If you, for instance, look to many countries which in the past were uh, very poor, but now because of their growth and because of their, let's say, integration with the international trade system, have become much richer, mm -hmm. you see uh, that in those countries there's also an opportunity to do business. Business can help development. I mean, I, well, a good example is we have a company in Rwanda that is doing the operation and maintenance for, of rural water supply in, on the border with Congo, mm -hmm. serving about 300,000 people. And it's a nice combination of, of um, we are a shareholder, we are supplying the water through an operation and maintenance contract, uh, and we are so successful that uh, during the five years we did not raise our tariff. There's still a lot of people in the world who cannot be served by trade yet because simply they, there is no money or services at all. So they are not even, you know, they live of less than a dollar a day. So they are not able to buy any services. So this is really, and this is what we need to be aware of. And if we really start to continue to work with aid and trade together, then we always need to make sure that we don't forget the ultra poor.